Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I wanted to start this off by showing you um, this tweet. This is, um, I got this from XRP underscore veteran, definite follow on Twitter. Um, confirmed India's government now running an XRP validator node. For those of you that don't know, um, more cross, there's more cross-border payment business that could come out of India than probably any country in the entire world. And they have just now recently begun to talk about um, easing up on the regulatory front in that country for crypto. Um, but this is in reference to an article. Um, and I think, I want to say that Alex Cobb just started this website. I think I saw where he had started the XRP Daily. I think this is his. And this may be his piece of news that he came out with as well. Um, India's government now running. Uh, if you, By the way, if you don't follow Alex Cobb, he's on Twitter and he's got a YouTube channel. Alex Cobb, C-O-B-B -B is his name. And he, he, he's been doing this before anybody, pretty much. He does a good job. Um, India's government now running an XRP validator. And it says, um, earlier this morning, valued XRP community member, Tehol Benedict XRP made a very fascinating discovery on the XRP ledger. It is now proven that the Indian government's information research security and development center is actually running a validator node on the XRP ledger. And here's his tweet here. But as you can see, folks, down here it says, the information proves Ripple's active progress in India which has a population of 1.3 billion. Keep in mind that six months ago, Ashish Birla stated Ripple had about 50% payment market share in India in terms of clients signed. This market is going to be a monster, folks, but this was definitely worth your knowing about. Okay, next, um, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is from, from uh, yes, about uh, yesterday and how the markets had crashed. Now, um, there's not a question that should be in anyone's mind that this market, what happened yesterday, these crashes, um, that type of thing is complete manipulation. There's not a question in my mind about that. This is an article that talks about it. Bitcoin crashes to 3,600 with suspicious, suspicions of market manipulation. Now, keep in mind, if you owned in, if you wanted to tamp down the market, which I fully 100% believe that that's what these people are doing. If you remember over the last two weeks, since we ticked over into 2019, there's been a lot of momentum, not just with news, but a lot of these cryptos have started to do what you see them do in a bull market. We've seen Tron, we've seen Holo Chain, we've seen um, Cardano, we've seen a lot of these start to surge. And I have, I, I fully 100% believe that Wall, someone, I don't know who, but in preparation for Wall Street getting ready to, to come into this, that there are people that control enough Bitcoin intentionally who all they have to do, think about this for a minute. All you would have to do if you wanted to manipulate the entire crypto market because, and only because it still tracks Bitcoin for the most part, that's a temporary problem but it still works that way. It won't work that way once we start to cross the trillions and, and market cap and all of that. But for now, it still works that way. And it's going to work that way probably until, um, until you start to see Wall Street be able to get in the game and more specifically into, until you see Wall Street in a position to profit from this and make money off of it. That's what this is really about. You're gonna see a little bit of that. Of, of that. But, it, but it's it's going to come to an end very soon as well. That's the good news. Um, but there's no doubt. But if you think about this for a minute, if you controlled a large amount of just Bitcoin and you were in a financial position where you could go on to a retail exchange and put a large sell order in that you know, and when I say a large sell order, 
I mean a, a, a cell order large enough that you know it couldn't be, there's not enough buyers to uh, on that particular exchange to buy the cell that you have. Then you pull back that sell order. That's called manipulation, my friends. And that kind of thing can cause a tidal wave across exchanges and plummet the prices of all crypto. And if you don't think those kind of things are being done in this right now, until until the the major money people have a chance to to get into this and to begin to open this up to major exchanges for Wall Street and their buddies. I think again. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to prove my point. Okay, this is from, this was sent to me from Landlady Natalia. I wish I was, wherever this is, this looks like fun. I would love to be walking around here. Now, I'm scared of heights, and so um, I, I would have to be on a trail that is not too close to the edge. <laughs> but um, that is one of my little fears, is heights. I've got it. I cannot, um, the, I'm going to let y'all in on something. There's one thing, and when I go to Liechtenstein, I may have to get my wife to drive me because I cannot, and I'll repeat, I cannot get in a car and drive up the mountains like this. It literally will give me a panic attack. It's one of, uh, Superman has his kryptonite, the digital asset investor has heights. <laughs> I literally would get dizzy and have a panic attack if I try to drive up in mountains like this. But that doesn't mean I don't like being in the mountains. It's the getting to the mountains that bothers me if I'm the one driving. Um, anyway, I'll tell you, um, last time I went into the mountains, I'll tell you something interesting. Last time I went to the mountains, we, we had driven up to Gatlinburg, which is in Tennessee. And we were, I think we were about to have our second child. And I was driving, it was dark, and we were going around and round and round and round. And it... I did not realize how freaked out that I was by driving through the mountains. I just happened to see over the edge of one of those cliffs and I pulled over the car and made my wife drive. She was so mad that I stopped on the side of that mountain, but that's a true story. And so now I just don't do it. Um, I don't mind flying by the way. Flying doesn't bother me. It's something about my driving up in these mountains like that bothers me. Anyway, sorry to go out on that tangent. But landlady Natalia sent me this at Nemo 408-01357. So um, she sent me this, which was a video of um, the CEO of Binance, who I love. I think this guy's great. He's smart. And he is one of the true heroes of crypto. Okay. Um what I'm showing you here with Chris Larson on the screen, before I tell you what the CEO of Binance said, I want to show you what happened during this video. This is Bloomberg, I believe it's Bloomberg um, Tokyo, maybe, or Bloom, somewhere, over, no, Bloomberg, maybe in Korea. But anyway, he's being interviewed, and at the 150 or so mark, this is the strangest thing because I listened to the whole thing and I don't think Ripple was ever bought up, brought up, even though it's in the title. I don't think it was ever brought up in this, in this thing. I, I may have missed it, but I don't think I did. At the 150 mark, all of a sudden, while he's being asked a question, all of a sudden, Chris Larson and Ripple pops up on the screen <laughs> and it, it was out of nowhere. And so I just thought this was fascinating. So I thought I would, I screenshot this. I'm going to make it the thumbnail in this video. But let me tell you, now, when I'm telling you what the CEO of Binance said, I want you to lay that over the crash that you saw yesterday. And you tell me, or ask yourself, does any of that make any sense? That the price of Bitcoin out of nowhere, nobody's been able to say why or anything. Out of nowhere, the price of Bitcoin would crash and then it would crash all the other cryptos. It's pure manipulation because here's what the CEO of S of uh, Binance um, said about his exchange. First thing that was said is that recently they had to halt registrations because they're so overwhelmed with new registrations on Binance. He said they opened the registrations back up for one hour and they had 240,000 people sign up for a Binance account. 240,000 people. 
He said that when they're open right now, they're signing up 2 million accounts a week, not a month, a week, 2 million accounts. He said the most growth is with males, 25 to 30. And he said he's been surprised by the amount of money that these people are putting into it. He said that these 25 to 35 males, he said it's not uncommon for them to be trading ten to $100,000 a day on Binance. I was blown away by that number. He said a lot of institute, there's a lot of institutional uh, investor interest as well. He said the countries with the most interest are the US, Japan, Korea, UK, Germany, Italy. Now I just mentioned to you that India is starting to warm up. And he also said that China was the biggest of all those countries before China did the ban and he left China where he started the exchange. Well, my predi- let me go ahead and predict to you what's going to happen as all of this unfolds. China and India, those markets are going to open up too. And when they do, there's that is going to be a bigger flood than all of the other countries. And it won't just be those countries, it'll be more than those countries. But China and India are not going to be left behind by all this. I believe both of those countries have spent the last year or two trying to figure out how they can control um, how this, how the crypto market unfolds in their country, not with an idea that they're going to just ban this outright. That's what they've been saying, but that's not what they're doing. And if you read between the lines, you can see it. Um, moving along, he said, he said one other thing that was very interesting and you should hear. She asked, she asked him, she said, Warren Buffett, Jamie Dimon, Janet Yellen, and others, they seem to totally um, be against crypto and, they, and they, think, they think it's worthless and it's going to zero and all this type of thing. What he said was, he said he respected all of those people. He said, Jamie Dimon recently retracted what he said. And he said, Warren Buffett, he said, I, I respect Warren Buffett. He goes, but Warren Buffett does not understand cryptocurrency and he's making a big mistake. And the truth is Warren Buffett's probably investing in it behind the scene. But this is a very interesting video. If you want to find it, um, the person that put it up is back to tech. Um, and it's called Binance CEO talks about Bitcoin ripple, South Korea radio. I do not think he talked about ripple, but it was really strange how this popped up in the very middle of this video. And I don't think it was, I don't think it was done by the guy that created the video. Maybe it was, but I just thought it was kind of interesting. Maybe, maybe he was just doing that as a hook to get people to watch the video. I don't know. Moving along, XRP crypto wolf at bit true official just added four new XRP base pairs. These guys are trying to, I mean, these guys, this is Coinbase. Hello. This is what listening to your customers looks like. Um, If you need, these guys will probably beat your butt like Binance has if you continue to ignore your customers and don't act like, this is what people act like that want to be successful uh, towards their customers. (laughs) Um, They've added hot XRP, NPX XRP, DNT XRP, and Pro XRP. In total, they now have 26 XRP pairs and they will be adding five more pairs to XRP by the end of January making it a total of 31 XRP pairs. Can you say liquidity, folks? Next, Darth Ripple. This is my favorite piece of news out of today. Um, And I'm going to show you something funny in a minute. Darth Ripple, follow him, at Ripple Darth. This is a good one. Um, And then he says, he's talking about Crypto Airy. Now, if you don't follow Crypto Airy on um, Twitter, you need to. Crypto Airy is kind of the XRP community YouTuber from that's in Japan and can give us the, the information out of Japan that's going on. And she's really smart and really good. Go to um, at S-E-N-T-O-S-U-M-O-S-A-B-A and she's at Crypto Airy on uh, YouTube. Definite follow and definitely watch her videos. Um, she said, it says she's uh, told it in her latest vid Real big news for XRP. This is the S, this is the CEO of SBI that owns, he says 13. I've always thought it was 10.5 or so percent, but whatever. They, SBI owns, um, a, a decent amount of Ripple. CEO of SBI and 13% owner of Ripple told that world's top 20 global banks will use XRP in 2019. 
Believe me, I know him. This isn't a fairy tale. Now, I don't know if he's saying that he knows the CEO of, of SBI, but anyway, the point is, is that these people are serious. This is a serious banking group over in Japan, and he is saying that they're, they're going to be in the world's top 20, not just Ripple. Global banks will use XRP in 2019, top 20 global banks. And he says, and most of all, man, he is really bullish this this time. That little Catal, he told that Swift is sinking further down. I don't know what all that means. This this uh, he writes these things like he Darth Ripple writes these things like maybe he's not uh, English speaking. Like maybe this it seems kind of like broken English. And so he may be from over there. I don't know. Uh, but this is good information. Uh, and then this is interesting because we just covered, we, we've got a Darth Vader in the XRP community. Now we've got XRP Yoda, who I talk about sometimes, and you should follow them to at XRP Yoda. Let me tell you now, people, relax. Crypto will be huge. Please relax. Look, look past one, three, five, ten plus years. This is a TV remote. The TV was 20 feet away. Kids have no idea the struggle was real. So next time you flap, panicking think about this picture and relate it to crypto and he's talking about how this was a television clicker this reminded me of the old television clicker that was in my house when i was a kid this would have been around 1985 i want to say okay this is um right after they came out i guess with i guess color tvs came out in maybe the 70s and then in 85 they were uh, they were it was cutting edge to have a clip a tv clicker that i, I call them clickers you might call them a remote control. So I went out to find the remote control that was my family's first remote control, and I found it. We had a Zenith TV, and this is the exact remote control when I was a child that I would use. And I'll never forget it, because now you just push a button and the TV and the channel switches. The way this thing worked is it was by sound. This was a Zenith TV, and I'll never forget it. You would point this at the TV and you had to be close enough for the TV to recognize that sound. And it was like a ping. And when the TV heard that ping, there was, I guess there was a certain sound for the channel to go higher on this button and then a certain sound to turn it off and the volume and the channel. Over. But this is actually what we use, people. And so this is how far we've come. And finally, um, I was going to show you, we've got, a, we've got Darth. We've got Darth Vader Ripple. We've got XRP Yoda <laughs> with Ripple. And finally, Han Solo, who I, I had not followed until this morning. I, I gave Han Solo a follow because I want to make sure I've got all the Star Wars bases covered. And I've said before that I think that C3 Nick, um, we all, so, so we've got a C3PO too, right? I said C3 Nick is as, as, um, as important to the XRP community as C-3PO was to Star Wars. <laughs> so we have all of the Star Wars bases covered in the XRP community, and I thought that was funny. I was going to show you this article, but I went and looked at it, and I believe that this article that they're referring to is from Investing Haven, and I believe it's an old article that's being rehashed, and they're trying to talk about all these price projections and all that. But more than anything, I just wanted to show you, go follow at one Han Solo. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that CZ Binance is growing, okay? Binance is adding 2 million customers a week. Things are going to freaking blow up, folks. All these silly market manipulation crashes in the market that you see every once in a while. This is all a mirage. Just keep your eye on the ball. Thanks for listening.